my people, what I do? We back with another episode of All Black Men Need Therapy. My name is Chief. And I'm Bell. My name is Prentice. Prentice Powell. Got, Prentice Powell. And we about to get the ball rolling again, y'all. Fellas, what's goody? We back at it. Check in. Weekly check in. P, we getting closer and closer and closer, cuz. What's up? The baby on the way. I feel like it's been like eight podcasts. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and listening to this joke, like, hey, when is you having this baby? <laughs> like, is, she, yeah. is she really pregnant? Yeah. Like, this is like, like, this hey, stuff. <laughs> nothing changed, man. I'm good. I'm I'm doing real good. But you know, wait for the baby, bro. That's it. I hear that. Bellhead, what's up? Um, yo, I'm good. I'm honestly good. Um, but I I realized something today. Well, I observed something today. I've always known this. But, and obviously for, for those who haven't been listening, I just moved to Boston two months ago or so. Um, shout, out, side note, shout out to Shorty who sent the email with a barber for my man. Yeah, bro. yeah, Appreciate thank it. you, thank you. I was, in, I was in back in Connecticut last week, so I ended up getting a cut when I was out there, but I'm gonna definitely scream at your cousin. Um, but um, yo, Boston is interesting, yo, like, Boston's diverse. But bro, when I tell you this shit is in like pockets, like I was I was with uh Lo had an appointment today and I was just circling the block because she was about to be in and out. And I was just circling the block. And I'm just I'm circling the block, but also just trying to get more familiar with where I'm at. And I'm I'm on at this time I'm on the south end. And the south end is um uh it's like, a, it's like mostly brownstones. Like, it's really nice. It's, it's mostly brownstones out there. Really nice. No parking, nothing like that, but but nice. Anyway, but it's, you know, it's, it's not far from downtown, whatever. So I'm just driving. And then I bust a right. And then I start seeing more Black people. And the crazy shit is, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, y'all must be in Roxbury. You know what I'm saying? And sure enough, I looked at the map afterwards. I was entering Roxbury, but it was like, yo, this is so crazy that it's such a like a shift. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yo, bro, South South End is like granola, like walk your dogs, your dog walks the dog, like type people. You know what I'm saying? It's like fully gentrified. You know what I'm saying? And and I just went a little further down on the same street. And the first thing that popped in my head was like, this must be Roxbury. And I, and I felt the way kinda, because I'm like, am I like judging? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know how to feel, but uh, but it's definitely, like even while I live in Dorchester and um, while I live in Dorchester, it's, it's not, it's not like, it's not a lot of black people where, where I live in Dorchester. So when I'm like, when I see it, I'm like, yo, that's crazy that it's this segregated. I shouldn't say segregated, separated, I should say, because I don't think it's segregated per se, but I will say that it, 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 it is not like, it's not inclusive. I'll say that. So that's just my takeaway for today. But that that's it, man. I'm, I, otherwise, man, I'm good, man. Family's good. I'm good. But uh, better question is you, brother. Yeah, man. Given the circumstance, I'm good. So those who don't know, I lost an uncle yesterday. Well, we don't know when it happened, but uh, within the past couple of days, he passed away at home. And um, it was the one, you know, the, the uncle I looked up to as a child. He was, you know, the big time athlete in the city, whatever, whatever. So it was, it was, it was, it was, it's tough. And I was okay all day, you know, just trying to be there for my grandmas, my moms, my mom's youngest brother. And I was good until I saw a picture of my uncle and my, my uncle holding my brother. And that shit just kind of punched me in the face and, you know, emotions crept upon me but I'm, I'm, I'm good so I texted the fellas like yo I, I kind of need y'all I think let's let's just you know do something get my mind off it so I appreciate y'all boys man but I'm I'm, I'm good man you know I, I, after peanut like it ain't really much that can that can like yeah. take me out. you know what I'm saying I'm I'm resilient as fuck in the, in, at least in that regard right there so I'm rest in peace Uncle Nelson words so I'm, I'm I'm moving forward um P, what's up, man? You 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 put you push mute for a minute. Tell the people what you got going on, yo. You know what I mean? Nah, man. You know, uh, uh, I had the the opportunity to uh, 
to write for uh, Lexus Uptown's Honors Awards, which they uh, every year they have a award show where they present to people in television and film in certain categories. And so uh, this year was television and film. So the four honorees are four musical composers, including um, who are they? Catherine Bostick, Morgan Rhodes, Quest Love, and um, oh man, I'm mad. I'm forgetting the fourth brother's name, Chris Bowers. So they're the honorees. So I got an opportunity to write the presentation uh, speeches for them and also get some uh, FaceTime on it too. So I got to present it kind of like in a poetry format, um, present them their awards. So that's dope, bro. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So another move, man, in the right direction. I'm trying to get this pen in. This, I'm trying to get the pen in the seven lanes of income, man. If I can generate seven streams of income, seven different ways with this pen, I'll be straight. Word up. Shout out to everybody grinding behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Everything in, you know, in the public eye. But them checks. Shout out to Lexus for I mean opportunity. Yeah, Word. man. Shout out to Lex. Shout out to Walt Isaacson, really, man. Word. Um, yeah. Shout out to all the folks over there. Word. The homie Aaron and whatnot. My daughter. I still got a picture of my daughter. My daughter drew a picture of Aaron. It's a little stick figure with some big ass glasses and wow hair. <laughs> it's funny as hell. It's it's dope though. It's real it's dope. Good. Nevertheless, off in today's topic. It ain't tricking. Who is it? We just said that. It ain't tricking if you got it. Yo, so I, I was in preparation for this uh, episode. Have you ever heard this song? Yeah. It ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah. 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 Can't remember no. who sang the song though. You wouldn't uh, even if you, you even if you did know you wouldn't know. The, that was their only song, probably. Exactly, and the, and the name is Melage. I was gonna say some shit like Kwame or some shit. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, but don't disrespect Kwame, man. Kwa Kwame is yeah. a legend. Not even no, no, not even <laughs> like that. Let's go say some bread to say. Kwame is a, a savage, man. Um, I tried to I tried to dye my hair like that, but fuck my shit up. The polka dots and all that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, it ain't tricking if you got it though. Do y'all believe that? Well, wait, wait, well, first of all, do you have the? Yo, wait, let we got, wait, 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 wait. We got to back up. So, so just a, real quick, what I realized, yo, we we got to start giving like disclaimers and like definitions to some of the stuff that we say. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know if I sent it to you, Chief, but it was um. It was this this, this comedian. I forget his name, but he had did this thing on Connecticut, like top five things about Connecticut. Like he's not from Connecticut. I think he's from the South, and um. And he was he was talking. It's hilarious. I gotta send it to you. Um, and he was talking. He had said a word. He was like, "Look, white people, take a second, go to Urban Dictionary and look this up." And I was like, "Yeah, look that up. How you don't know what that mean?" And then in my group chat with all my football uh, teammates, one of the white dudes in there was like, "He's like, uh, he's like, I definitely had to look that up because I didn't know what that meant." And I'm like, "Damn." <laughs> You know, we, yeah. we, we gotta we gotta recognize our audience, I guess. We, so we do speak so, a different language sometimes for sure. So today today's episode is is it tricking if you got it? Question mark. Right? That's uh something that's that's been um said in the past. And there's and we're gonna get into it, but there's a stigmatism attached to to tricking and this, that, and the third. So for those who don't know. Um, is this is this the urban diction urban dictionary version so of it? This, this is from Wayward Radio because the urban dictionary had an ill definition. So for you to look this up, you have to look up trick off, and it says to spend money on a female who is not your woman. Men use this phrase, and men only also means to engage in sexual activity with a woman who is not your woman. So in layman's it said, term, it, it said men only. In that in that definition, you know, the other definition was crazy. I forgot to put it in there, but it was like, it was it was crazy. It was like something like, wow, like I, something I, something I, like, a hey, trick. You gonna buy some crack? Like, it was like, <laughs> like I swear to God, like it said, like, that's what it said. I'm like, yo, I can't put that in there, man. <laughs> um, but but tricking off, man, the way we use it is like, so I got a family member 
like one that I I look up to, this dude is he he's that guy. Not because he tricks off, but because he's just that guy in general. But that's his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's older. He he's my parents' age. And um his girl's like 32. You know what I'm saying? No, not girl, but chicky oh, deal with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But 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 he tricks off. And what that means is like some people are like low key tricks and some people use that as their their bargaining chip or their their way to to, to reel people in so like i said this family member i have who's older he's my parents age like he goes in the bar like i used to be in the club he used to be in the club with us and not that we came together but he'll pull up by himself and he had bread he had money so well, what he would do is flash his money in so many ways and then he would attract women. So that was like his, his magnet, you know what I mean? So he didn't shy away from it. Like that's just, that was his tactic. That's what he did. Now, that's his prerogative, right? But what we say, like we, we look at it as like, we give each other stuff like crap sometimes. We're like, yo, you tricking? You know what I mean? Like back in the day, we would say it. And what we would, it was a derogatory term for us because we looked at it like, yo, you don't have to be buying these girls anything to, to advance. You know what I mean? Like we looked at it like our charisma, our personalities were enough. Like we didn't have to do that stuff that some of these other people had to do. Like I said, my family member is twice the, twice the age of some of these, these, these women he's attracting. So that's his tactic. Right. And it works. And it, and it's, it's he's living his best life that's what i'll tell you right and he don't give no he had no cares in the world about what you think about it so that's the topic today is is it tricking if you got it so that came from some rapper said it ain't tricking if you got it meaning if you got the money it's not tricking because you have the money i could have sworn weezy said that i know weezy said it in a song i mean so, so many people have said it so I don't know who. Uh... So I, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, see, so I personally agree with the statement. It ain't tricking if you got it. Like for so me, a trick. But, but that's the thing. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am. Trick, like I, because I because. But first of all, you just know by nature of who I am. Like I've never really been attached to money like that. So if I could, if like if somebody if you wanted something, Bell, like, yeah, me buy my nigga something. Like if, or if I'm out with a shorty and she want like I, I get it. And like it's, I'm not really. It's I've never really been attached or looked at it like that because like you said in the beginning. I believe just the charisma and the character we carry is what pulls her in and not, you know, not, not, like a, not money. Not right. Yeah. We're, we're buying stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that really never really bothers me, but I've definitely like spent, we could even call it unnecessary bread on just, you know, just off, just off of just principle. Like, yeah, we out here, you want it? I cop it. You know what I mean? It, it always, it kind of, it, 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 it wasn't looked at in that sense, but it always works in your favor. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't. It you wasn't. Sound, like, you sound like a bona fide trick to me. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying you, you are, or you aren't. I'm just saying that's how it sounds to our listeners. I can't really. <laughs> I can't really, and I also, I also don't agree with the fact that it, it, it's only applicable to men. No, I, I no, I that, and that's just what that said. But yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you because I've had, I've had people trick on me before. Yeah, so oh, I get yeah. it. And. Pre, pre, and P, you 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 do you you tricking out here, yo? I mean, you 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 good up now, but you ain't. So P, you ain't spending no money. Uh, no, no. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's not not spending money. I was listening to what y'all were saying because I think at first I wanted to just pop off like hell yeah, you can still trick. But then I was listening to what you were saying and taking it in, and I I, I was thinking about like I think it has more to do with intent. You know what I'm saying? Like like Bell's describing the dude in the club where that's his thing. That's what he does to get women. And I feel like if you if you have to spend money in order to attract women, that's tricking to me. Yeah, I kind of feel like. Yeah. I feel like if your intent is to get women so you use money to do it, you're tricking. If you got to pay for her car, pay for you know all these extra expenses that have nothing with you just to pay for her time, you're tricking. You know what I mean? But if you have it and you know, I think you can get to the financial point where if you have and it's just part of your lifestyle, how you treat a woman who goes out with you, that's that's different to me. You know, that's a different bracket. That's just kind of how you live. 
But if you got yeah. you got to use your money to pull the chick, then you you for sure trick. You're a trick. So I think with me it was a psychological thing, right? Because I'm always like, I'm always like I'm always on the defense, and in the back of my mind, no matter what our level of relationship is, well, I shouldn't say that because I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. But in the beginning, when I was you know in my twenties and I didn't have no real money, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I had some money. Um, and I always felt like, like, what's this person's intentions, right? Is, is, does she want me to go out here, spend money on her? And then she about to go do the same thing with the next dude and this, that, and the third. So that's kind of where my mind went, you know? So that's why I never did it. Like, bro, when I tell you I was so hyper vigilant on not spending money on women, like, and not that a lot of them didn't deserve it. So I'm not by no means, please hear me clear. I just, it was my own psychological barriers. Like I didn't even buy girls drinks and in, 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 at the bar. Like they were like, you want to get me a drink? I was like, no, you can get me a drink. Like literally that, that's what I used to say. And, and, and it was just me being ignorant. You know what I mean? I, because, but I remember that phase. And I was like, I was that the same way. I remember like, no bullshit. I used to like not let, women buy me things like at all like nah i don't i'm good yeah. i can see you like that i can see you doing that yeah. i was like i'm talking about like the, the the most minuscule things like nah i'm good don't worry about it. i'll take care of it don't worry about it and after a while i was like yo like if she want to get it for you let her get it like yeah you know what I'm I, I think that's when you were real heavy on your traditional gender roles too though yeah yeah so you I, know I'm, I'm saying I'm talking I about like that's nothing. what that you couldn't get me nothing like i was like nah i don't you know i mean and that was it was almost like like a defensive so, like defensive. So if you went to McDonald's, you got some fries, and they didn't put any sweet and sour in the bag, and she was like, "I'll go grab you some sweet and sour." But you would just eat those fries without the sweet and sour. Probably. That's how stubborn I was. Probably. That's cool. I need my sweet and sour sauce. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, the first when you was giving the example, I'm like, hey, this ain't even what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you finish, I'm like, okay, I see what you did. All right. <laughs> um so so here's here's what I'll say, man. Like I used and I, I mentioned this in, in previous episodes. Another reason why I didn't trick is I felt like if I did this, because I mentioned before in other episodes, I didn't, I've, I've, I haven't had a lot of <clears throat> uh, serious relationships in my life. Um, another thing in the back of my mind was like, if I'm doing all this for you and we're not together, like what's my, or what's my future girlfriend or wife's incentive to be with me, right? If I just do this for everybody, you know? So that was another thing for me that I was just like, it's not fair right to the to the person that I'm going to be with um for me to just be doing all these things for you and plus like I said it's not like I had real money I had money but I didn't have not enough to be you know taking nobody shopping like I did not not in my 20s you know what I'm so, saying? so you didn't really answer so just yes or no do you believe the statement it ain't tricking if you got it no no so it's so if you got it it's okay is what you're saying? I, I no, no. If if you got it, it's not always okay. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But I understand. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause I'll get to this in a second. But there was a very short period where I did some tricking, like very short, like very very short. But and I had money, and um. And I think when you have money, you convince yourself that it ain't tricking. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna miss this, but let me go throw these couple out there. You know what I'm saying? You had to run I, it. I, back, you know? I think, I think that's what it is, man. It's like 2000 and like 11, man. You know, it was different time. <laughs> it was a different time. So, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I thought it was a random analogy. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like, I feel like at a certain age, it's tricking. Regardless if you got it or not, it's tricking. If you're how old, what do you say? 34 or younger? Yeah, it's tricking. That's that's just my personal opinion. If you're 34, if, if you're 34 or, or younger and you're spending money 
on a on a significant stable companion or so in, not in, so that, remember okay, that's just in a, so in a, if you're 34 younger in attempts to pursue persuade convince someone of the, or just a, a, a personal interest and you trick it and you spend the money that's considered tricking that's tricking yeah that's what i'm gonna go with i don't know i agree form. with that that's only one form there's there are several ways oh. to trick is trick. yeah tr tricking ain't always about the bread though yeah man yeah yeah there's a lot of tricks out there but i think like but yeah, trick is also a mentality too very much so them captains out there man got them cakes on tight yeah yeah like of, what were you about to say prentice i cut you off oh no i was just laughing because i was thinking of an analogy where like you, you feel like if you got money you convince yourself i'm i'm high so you know um uh, forget these analogies but um <laughs> This that's what that's where that whole sweet and sour sauce came from. You got the, <laughs> you got the punchies. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hungry to the motherfucker right now. I ain't gonna lie. I am. But uh no, I'll leave, I, I'll leave this one alone though. It's, it's probably not gonna land right, and then I'm gonna feel bad. Um so what what's the mo so so chief, you meant well Prince, have you ever tricked before? I'm I'm in my mind, no, never. You know what I'm saying? Like hell nah, no, never in my head, but right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was what you were saying too. Like, I didn't grow up with bread, so right. there's only so much I could have realistically done anyway. Right. So, right within within that financial bracket, I, I'm sure there's ways to trick, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I can't lie because you know what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about those times you go out with a woman and you have a good time. Uh, nothing happens. Uh, you're going about your business and you come back and you go out again and you know you're going out because you want to smash. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I feel like investing that that energy is a form of tricking because you're doing it because you want to hit. So here's how here's how we go with our justifying shit. So to your point, P, if you take a shorty out, like I remember distinctively like back in the day going out and like having just enough money to where if she wanted to supersize it, we might don't make it. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, so oh, you don't be living on the edge, right? <laughs> so, but I remember being like, I gotta spend some, I gotta spend some bread today to kind of help seal the deal, if you will. But I still, it, I didn't look at it as as tricking. And now that, like, to Bell's point, like now that I got a little bit of bread, like it's like, okay, well, like, we go out. I don't mind spending this money because I'm not, you know, I'm not really attached to it, or whatever, you know. Right. But it's still right. the intent. The, the intent isn't to be like, yo. I'm spending this bread so I can get some. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just yeah. kind of, I think it's okay for in that in the one I'm the one I'm thinking of in my head, it's just a part of who I am. You know what I'm saying? In this regard, like Shorty well, was, he was born, you was born a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what you're saying is <laughs> hey man, I'm just I was born this way. Nah, man. Hey, that, people want to know, man. They, they, nah. hey, that, that man's single, so, just so y'all know. Tell me, tell me, <laughs> tell me right now, bro. Tell me that I'm not as as cliche as it sounds. Tell me I'm not the guy that they the guy that they'll be like, yeah, he would give you the shirt off his back. No, you are. You you are a hundred percent are. But that's I think though. that's exactly exactly. How is that different though? Because we, we, who you are, you're kind. My bad, but let me step over. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, because that's out of necessity. If you're giving me the shirt off my, your back, that means that person needs it more than you. But if a nigga just don't like what they're wearing. And be right. like, shit, I need to change my shirt. You ain't about to come out your shirt. And have nothing. That's the difference. Right? <laughs> like, hey, like your shirt is on fire today. today. <laughs> like, I um, so so since we've established that we've all tricked on some level, right? Some level. I can't. All right. Yes, you did. You okay. had to. I, <laughs> yo, Chief. I, I know you did. There was a there was one specific incident or instance where I was like, "You did this for, for this person," and he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Let's yeah. talk. Let's let's talk about that off camera. Whatever. <laughs> We're not finna. So, we not finna do that. Anyway, um, my question is, when is it okay? When is it okay for who? For what party? Because sometimes Man. women or men are aware they're being tricked on. And are trying and are reaping the benefits of it, and may or may not have any intent to, to, 
proceed with the relationship or the end goal or whatever the case may be. Right. Like, they yeah. they just trying to reap the benefits. Right. Right. So, I'm talking about the one providing the benefits. When is it okay? When is it okay to be the to be the tricker? Yeah. And not the trick to, off per the, the definition. The trick off. Um when is it okay? What or or is it okay? Why isn't it okay though? Like yeah, I, I I I feel that too. Like I think it's just that. In, I think it's just because we look at it as lame. If you got to use money to get a woman, you know what I mean. Like that's just not. That's not that how part. we're wired. So we view men who have to use money as a tool to get something that you should naturally be able to do. You know what I mean? As like you're you're compensating. So I feel like that's freaking. I feel like you shouldn't need money in order to get a woman's attention at all. So but please. I understand why if you have it, shit. You know what I mean? Like I I I do get that too. So let me ask. So non-monetarily, P, is mm -hmm. it is it tricking if you're using your poetry to garner a woman's attention? Oh man, we ain't gonna talk about that. No, man. I don't. I don't think so. That thing, don't cost you nothing. That but fam, like it's it's still a a gimmick to. To, for your end goal, you know what I'm saying? You tricking you in the. Uh, uh. But that's that's no different than you running game. That's not true. Nah, it's not. But it's not true no. because well, it's a different like like and this isn't <laughs> this isn't like a boastful thing. But there's like 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 legit like groupies, fam, like that that love the person on stage. Yeah, but that's know, that's like because it. of your talent. You know what I'm saying? Like that's right. So if and, I go and, into and, and that's also can be looked at as unintentional. Like you didn't so, get on stage to get women, right? But that might be a byproduct. But I'm saying that. if if there is an intent behind it, there you go. You know what I'm saying you pimping you pimping your your passion for a purpose. Yeah, alliteration on your ass. I I guess I get yeah I guess. But th that's like the same people that started playing sports because they wanted to get girls and they just happened to be real good at it. Yeah, you know, Chris Brown said he he chose singing because he could get more girls than playing basketball. Is that is that tricking? Yeah, see, I don't I don't I don't consider that tricking because you're still doing something you love. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Yeah, but I, they're, as they're, far they're, as I'm concerned, tricking is only monetarily and um and items like like. You buy somebody a car, you can't say that poetry made me do it, right? Like you, you trick him, bro. <laughs> poetry made me do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't. I, I, I just, I, I don't want to bucket all this stuff. Is, it, is it the end? Like, goal? We know what tricking is. Is it the end goal in tricking that makes it tricking, or is it the principle of the, it is the act? No, it's. No, you're you're purchasing you're 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 you're, per you're commoditizing a relationship. That's what you're doing. Like that's that's what you like by definition. Yeah. That's what you're doing. But then you have some people whose whose primary love language is gift giving, and some whose primary that's love language but, is receiving. But love language, love language. Yeah, that, right? that goes back to people like you, bro. You were born that way. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> there's a lot of boring <laughs> tricks out there. Um, <laughs> no. But that's different. Like my love language is gifts. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be in a relationship with me to know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that everybody. I'm not saying everybody has to be in a relationship to 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 expose their love language. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I like to give gifts. I like to receive gifts. So I don't know that. And I'm in a committed relationship. Like it's 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 different. It's just different. I don't know. Like what. Like there has to be something established. Like I, I don't want to, I don't want to confuse courtship for tricking, right? You, you, you yeah, take somebody out, you, you take some out to dinner, drinks, cool, right? That's courtship. Like I get that, but then they're like, well, you know, tonight was cool, but I, you know, I, I'm not sure that we're compatible. Well, no, I think we are. Like you, let's, I'll fly you out to Miami. Let's let's go have a vacation, and then you know when we get there, don't even bring no luggage. I'll, I'll take you shopping. That's tricking, bro. Like that's tricking. Like that's the difference. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you're spending, I, I, yeah, it's just like when you're spending to obtain. I mean, like if 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 you're spending to to get, it's I feel like it's tricking. 
You know what I mean? You can do all those things and have a great time with somebody and can naturally take its course to wherever it's going to take it. But when you are like, shit, I got to do X, Y, and Z to keep their time or to keep them present, that's tricky. So, so again, is it the intent or just the act in general? Or is it a combination of both? I think it's a combination, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the intent creates the action, right? Yeah, because my, my family member, he's, he's tricking with the intention of, 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 of getting some or, or, or keeping a consistent relationship with somebody but that's his 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 foot in the door is his money you know what i'm saying like that's it's the act and it's his intent so do y'all presume it to be a negative or bad thing i i think i think this is what i think is bad when you don't own it that's when i think it's bad when you're like, man, I, man, I ain't tricking, man. I, I, I got game. I'm, I'm this. I'm, I ain't tricking. That's when, it, that's when it's bad. My family member, he owned that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like that's, his, that's who he is. Okay. And, so, so Joe Schmo, Joe Schmo, the millionaire, his G is very, very minimal. He knows I got a bag. Chicks like gift. So that's what he does. That's it. So he's tricking. And it's, and, and it's okay. It's, it's, I guess it's. I it's, don't agree. It's, I wouldn't do it, but I, I, but he owns it. Ain't nobody gonna say to Joe Schmo, "Yo, you um, the only way you can get you can get girls is by tricking," because he's gonna be like, "Yeah, you're right," but it works. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That and now if Joe Schmo was saying, "Yeah, I got I, I girls don't date me because of my money. They date me because of who I am." No, you're a liar, Joe. Right. Like every one of your girls has the same car. You're a liar. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's the difference. I think that's where, cause then that's where I feel like if you don't own it, then you're, you're a trick for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So here's my question though. Has a girl ever tricked on you? And what was the most expensive thing a girl's gotten you? P you want to go first? Uh, yeah, man, I had yeah, uh, most expensive. Or I think it was, just a, I think it was a, like the, it was a cumu accumulation of shit over time that was just like, damn, this is a lot of stuff, mm. <laughs> you know. And I was never, I'm not the type to ask for nothing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't do that. You know what I mean? Um, so it it helped that it was just given and not even anything I was aware of. But it was accumulation of stuff um, that I got that had me just like, whoa. There's a lot. Now, do you think do you think the intent behind that was to to real Prentice in? It was a key Prentice there. I I no no no. I feel like it was split. I feel like it was who who they are and who you are. Uh, no, I, I didn't have nothing to do with it because I wasn't. It was my first like the experience I'm thinking about with the woman. It was um. It was the first time experiencing anything like that. You know what I mean? So I, I didn't know how to even receive this shit because it was so like out of nowhere to me. But um, nah, it, 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 it was, it was, it was uncomfortable. I remember that shit. It was real uncomfortable for a minute. And then I just got used to it when the shit was really dope. Like the things she got me were dope. And I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah, so for me, I think like, I don't really, because of this, the old school traditional values I carry, I can't say that I I recognized it as tricking because I I'm, I don't typically get gifts. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like I'm always you you. There was one point you was getting gifts because I was wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I, it it wasn't one of them things where. Like I felt like it was a, a, a something to get my attention. I think it's just what the, like the person loved to do. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like I, I was I was so appreciative of it because I don't I didn't typically get it that it made them feel good to kind of you know what I'm saying? We didn't want to do it for you, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think that's what it was for me too. I think her her she enjoyed the reaction from me and the response, and I think that motivated her to continue to do it. And every time I was like, yo, you don't have to do this. You know what I mean? Like I was never like, hell yeah. But I think she enjoyed the acts of giving. 
Yeah. Um, I was like you a lot, Chief, where I didn't, I don't know, call it pride, call it whatever. I didn't, I didn't like accepting gifts, like in the beginning. Like I was just like, it was probably pride, right? Stubborn pride. But um, the most expensive thing, dude, I, I mean, a pair of sneakers, maybe like I, not, I don't believe, I don't believe that I've gotten anything of like, so like, of, of like such a significant value that it like tops everything. But I, I would say probably, I would say $200. Um, yeah, like I've gotten real thoughtful gifts, you know what I'm saying? But like probably two, $200, like at one time, somebody spent on me. Okay, I I've, got, I've gotten <clears throat> bread, like I've gotten some bread. It was like, it, for a minute, it took me a while to like even like, withdraw the bread from like it was sent like through the, through the cash <laughs> and i'm saying i'm just like that's hey. like no it's a lot you don't even touch it <laughs> yeah like i was just like i was like i don't know if i can like take this like you know what i'm saying but it was yo fun. i'm bugging yes i've gotten a lot of bread yeah i'm bugging i forgot about like just the monetary yeah yeah i i take that back yes yeah so in that in that in those instances you could think of where those design was the intent behind it to, to get the peen. Was she trying to get the Bellamy peen or was she trying to keep Bellamy in, in life? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, or was it just like who she was and was just trying to, you know, be generous? Cause it, I think it's a big difference though. Like it, it, it ain't tricking if you got it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I also think it was like their, um, how to keep people on the hook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like keep, keep you on the hook. Like, like, there's two instances that I'm thinking of, and in both these instances, these people, they, they, they were, they were, they weren't the, um, like the hottest on the block no more. You know what I'm saying? Like they had their run, but they wasn't the hottest on the block no more. And this was their way, um, to keep, to keep people on the hook. Cause I wasn't the only one, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was just what they did like that. They were, they were known, like you get with her, you going to get right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that, that was, that was their thing, you know, and they never like talked about it, but I think a lot of it had to do is they had big hearts one and two. It's like, you know, they, that was a, a way to keep them on the hook. Right. Like that, that was just a, a way. In hearing what you're saying, I, when, it, when it comes to me, I think that would work in a woman's favor just because I'm so used to being the one shelling out the bread and buying the gifts that when I don't get it, it, it makes me feel good. So in her mind, like, yo, this makes him feel good. This is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So You've been tricking for a long time, huh? No, I'm, I'm talking about when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, because I'm so used to like, just doing, doing my own thing. Like I've, I'm real quick to be like, nah, I got it. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah. But I think sometimes you like that to a fault. Possible. Possible. Yeah. You know, I think you like that to a fault. Which, I, I also which, think, I also which, think with you personally, I think sometimes you take the, the power away from that person by not allowing them to do something for you. Which is, which is, which is what, which is what I struggled with for a long time, which is why I make it a point to show so much gratitude because I've, I've, I've had times where I've kind of like underappreciated a grand gesture because I you didn't know what happens? That, that messes up, uh, that messes up like the whole idea and concept of like reciprocity in a relationship too. Right. So, so right. you gotta be able to like, I, I struggle with that too, man. I used to struggle a lot because Sarai is hella kind. You know what I mean? So she would give me something not on, you know, not on no special day. She would just give me something. And I'm I'm feeling like, yo, I don't got nothing to give her back. So I, I, I can't take this, but you gotta learn that give and take, man, because that appreciation is necessary. So is 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 it a balance? Is the reciprocity balanced? I mean, the reciprocity obviously ah. carries the essence of balance, but like, just say like, you know, when we, when we, when we converse about love languages, like if, if the gift given is something Sarai, let's use her. Cause you mentioned her name <coughs> is something that she's down and that's what she likes to do. And she just wants you to pour back into her 
with some quality time. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that a fair, is that a fair trade-off? Well, the goal is for both parties to be satisfied in a relationship, right? So however you gotta do that, then you know, it's as, as long as it's clicking, that's on y'all. You know, some people need more of one thing than than another, but I think as long as two people are feeling satisfied and are getting what they want, then it's fair. And we also talking about relationships now, right? Yeah, we're not talking about tricking them. Okay. Tricking, tricky, yeah, tricking don't apply. You know okay, so so does it? No, nah, it does not in a no. relationship. So so not. once because because so, because the both people's intentions are pure. That's okay. the difference. Okay, so once the labels put on the table, yeah, it's, yep. it's, or, or labels are or understanding. You know what I'm saying? Labels are understanding. It's like, all right, this will this will this where we at is. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Like, I don't think it's. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. I got a question though. I wrote down. Are men who trick simps? Break down simp for the, break down simp for the I got people. a definition for y'all. So <laughs> simp is an internet slang term describing a person who performs excessive sympathy and attention toward another person, sometimes in pursuit of a sexual relationship. Urban Dictionary defines a simp as someone who does way too much for a person they like. This is all on Wikipedia, believe it or not. So when you talk about the simp term, does he know he's a simp? Because I think I think he becomes a simp when he doesn't know. Yo, he- I think I think simps is in denial. Like, I don't think you're ever going to find a simp. This is my personal opinion that says, yeah, I'm a simp. Yo, no. now, you, you may find a trick. That says, no, nah, I, I trick. Like, that's what I do. But but the, my family member, that's a, that'd be tricking, he ain't no simp. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't I, I don't think I don't think it's synonymous. Look at let's 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 look at the I guess reversal of it. So let's say you know, dude A is a simp, and Shorty A realizes he's a simp and is now getting him the trick on her. Yeah, that's how it yeah. works, bro. Yeah, that's like, the code. Like you can be you, you can be a trick and not a simp, but if you're a simp, you're most likely a trick. You're for sure a trick. If you... you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like I don't want to confuse. Lot. I don't want to confuse people too much, but it's like <clears throat> if you, if you definitely if you're a simp with some money, like you definitely a trick. Like it's not it's not an option, but you don't have to be a simp. I mean, you don't have to be a uh, you don't have to be a trick. You don't have to be a simp if you're a trick. Yeah, so okay. simp like, is like, like, chief, like chief, you ain't a simp and you was tricking. Yeah, simping is like level two or three tricking. You, you know, know what? You know what? Yeah, simp. You know another another way to look at a simp is somebody that do anything to get that girl, like talk shit about their man. Like, talk talk about another man. I make it a point, man. Like, when I was dating and, de- like, I knew who they used to talk to or whatever, I made it a point to never bring that person's name up because I don't want to be viewed. I don't want my words to be taken out of context. Like, how I feel about that person has nothing to do with how you feel or felt about him. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna share my thoughts because I don't want it to be viewed as, Oh, Bell, like Bell hating on her, you know, like because people have done that to me, you know. So I'm like, you a simp. Like, if you got to say something negative about me, about the girl I'm talking to in an effort to get that girl from me, like you a simp, you know, like so that's why I never did it. Like simp simping is is less respectable than tricking, in my opinion. Yeah, and I my feel like opinion. it has an emotional side to it. Yeah, too. because. Because I feel like, yeah, because th- exactly. I, I think like tricking is transactional, right? Like <laughs> tricking is transactional, man. We're we're simp simp and there, there there's 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 an emotional connection or tie. Whether it be uh uh reciprocated or not, it's there in that person or at least in that individual. So I feel like the bounds that one may go to accomplish his simpism <laughs> so, has no bounds. 
who is the lesser, I guess, lesser of the two or the more wrong one in the simping and receive and receiving the benefits of the simp situation. So if I realize if Shorty realized homie's a simp and does the simp apply to girls anyway, we'll get back to that. But like if Shorty realized that homie's a simp and she's milking him for everything he got, like who's the worst or who's the worst person? Like the dude giving it all up or the shorty really manipulating old boy. I think it's the shorty because a lot of simps, man, they they a lot of simps, unlike trick, and this is just my opinion, unlike tricking, well, tricking might be like, yo, I'm about to trick off so I can get her tonight, right? Or I can, you know hang out with her this weekend whereas the simp they really be wanting to be with that person that's the thing that's the difference you know what i'm saying so simp they i think to answer your question i think it it, it reflects more negatively on the woman because then now they're exploiting that person because they may not want what that person wants and the, the simp makes it abundantly clear what he wants you know like i want to be with you i love you girl i love you like That's the difference. So you made it. You mentioned a good point earlier. Like, please understand the difference between tricking and courtship. Yeah, there's a very there's a there's. I mean, it it almost presents the same, but like, I'm and just to be clear, I'm not knocking tricking. I'm not knocking it. Like, teach his own. I'm not. Again, like I said, one of my most beloved family members is 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 a trick you know and and i don't knock it like i really don't um and and it's different from courtship right but i don't knock courtship either right like you you they say chivalry is dead i think chivalry is dead because everybody's tricking you know what i'm saying like i don't think you have to like and everything's like like yo everything's instant think about it right like you you see somebody on instagram or whatever you spark up a conversation, yada, 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 vibing, yada, whatever. Yo, you trying to get flowed out? Like, I, I send you, you come to the crib, or we can meet out here. Like, so the relationship can start off that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can start off in that bucket, you know? And then once you're in that bucket, bro, it's hard to get out. You know what I mean? Hmm. So, we, I, so, so do you always assume flying, flying a woman out with something? No, no, I, 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 I equate that to tricking. Oh, sure. to tricking. okay. To tricking, yeah, for, for, to, to tricking for sure. Even for if sure. it's on. So what? What distinguishes it from tricking and courtship? Because what if you're finding a woman out who you're truly interested in? You know what I mean? That's a good question, and I think it's circumstantial. That's, that's obviously. very possible and realistic. Yeah, it's 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 subjective and it's circumstantial. Um. But my my opinion, right? If I'm spending my hard-earned money, me, Bell, I have to know to some degree your intentions are. Now, I could fly you out, you know, if I feel like, okay, she's genuine. Like, whatever it is. Like, and, and it doesn't have to be I have to have seen her in person first or nothing like that. It, it just has to be a genuine connection. So I think it's a fine line. Let's put it that way. I think it's a fine line and I think it's very subjective. You know, like you could you could fly somebody out and not be a trick. You know what I mean? But then if there's like, if it's like reoccurring behaviors, then it's like, eh, you actually are a trick. You know what I'm saying? Like you've known her for a month and you've bought her all this stuff. You flirting with the line. You know, like you, you flirting. I hear you. What if he got it? What if he got it? And that's just what he enjoys doing. You know and th- then that's great. Like my family member got it and he enjoys doing it. And you know what he is? A trick. <laughs> like, that's cool. Like, like, let's, like, let's call it what it is. Like, if you What's your trick, perspective, Chief? I just. You know what his perspective is. He, no, he, I'm, I'm, looking at it, I'm looking at it. So maybe I'm looking at it from the perspective of courtship. Like I have like. And again, like it's, it's relationship stuff, so never mind. Because I have no problem like flying a girl in and throwing in a I hear that, ladies. An elaborate type, an elaborate type weekend, like you know what I mean, really doing it up. You know what I'm saying? And that's just with with the intent to to court her, not with the intent to get support. So I guess the intent is a big thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Like if, in in that case, I feel like if you got it, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Like who doesn't want to take a woman out for a good time? 
Yeah. Again, so, I, I'm, I, I want to be very clear. I'm not knocking. You yeah, know, no, I get it. I'm, I'm not saying you know what I'm saying? You. I'm not knocking it at all. Who knows, man? If I was single right now, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's working for my family member. Maybe I would, you know, jump ship. You know, I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Okay. But, Okay. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to give I'm trying to give dudes some justification behind why they do what they do and hope that they could like we're gonna have dudes not want to spend no money now. Like yeah, no, uh, I'm not you're listen, being, man. You're being hella conflicted this whole time. Right. It, I, because I'm trying to I'm trying to dig deep into, into the conversation and kind this of this is why know, we like, need therapy, man. We're trying right, to sort right. this shit out. Niggas can't figure it out. Wait, am I a simp? Am I a trick? Am I a good guy? <laughs> am I a trick and simp? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't, oh, we, why can't we just be good men with money? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, man. But again, I, I think it has its, its levels, man. And I also think that um, it's, it, it, you have to know yourself. That's what I'll say. You have to know yourself. You have to know yourself and know what you need. Like if you a simp live in that space, you meet a girl like, look, man, I'm gonna tell you like this, I'm a simp, right? And another way to say simp, is um well i guess it's not this simplistic but sucker for love is another way to say simp but it's not as simple as that because like you can be a sucker for love and not a simp. <laughs> so now there's another layer to this shit come on man <laughs> my bad y'all I, I don't want to confuse y'all but those who know y'all know y'all know exactly what we're talking about so um i think i think for me bottom line is it ain't tricking if you got it, yo. Like if you I mean, got the money, if you if you got if you got the money and you want to spend it and you want to spend money on shorty, do your thing. Last think, question. Last question. Is there life after tricking? Yes. I would not. Yes. Eventually, you learn that you played yourself. Or <laughs> no, they, there be sixty-year-old niggas in the club, but. Ready to trick and simple. Eventually, my you learn, family member. <laughs> eventually, you learn that you played yourself, or that it has been successful for you. So the life after tricking becomes no. So think about look at it, look at it like this. If flip flip it, there's a girl that was known for tricking, known for tricking. That's all she do, right? <laughs> and you are you going to date her? Like in a like simple. seriously. A simp would. A simp would. Yeah, a simp definitely would. But wh no, definitely why would. would? Why wouldn't I date the girl who like buying me stuff? Because she like buying everybody stuff. As long as she ain't buying them the stuff no more. Yeah, but you'll be out with her and be like, oh yeah, she bought me these these uh Jordans I got on, or you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, like know. somebody like me would start thinking hella deep and be like, I'm no different than anybody else because this is her in her like norm. This is but like that, a basic pattern, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, I'm not special. I'm just, I'm the dude for right now. So she's going to do what she did for dude last month or last year. So there's nothing separating me yet about her behavior. Yeah, but I think that becomes way more intimate than just the tricking part. Like, you obviously receiving benefits that other people aren't getting. Yeah, at the moment, at the moment. Until you know what? what Until what? She finds somebody else worth spending more money on? Like, well, you know, is she done? That's what I'm saying. Is there life after tricking? I don't know. Like, I, I haven't yeah. known. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Because right, you got to think, man, like when, when people trick, they obviously do it for a purpose and they do it for a reason. And I don't know. And I'm not making a blanket statement. I, do, I really don't know. I don't know if tricks really want to be in relationships. Think about that. Right? Like the point of doing it is to get whoever you want right but it's like what that. you want yeah get what yeah, you want, what you want. Right. yeah get what you want okay so, so, so let's use exhibit a who chose tricking as the method to get shorty b and got her and now they're married yeah did, but did his his was his end tricking, end is yeah the end result is different like you know you, you so it's, you in, it's off intent and, uh, yeah, but then the the question is, I, I bet you he was over thirty four. Like I feel like like part of my theory, like I don't think I don't see no twenty five year old doing that. Like that's just I don't know. Maybe um, 
but there are women who who marry tricks you know what i'm saying who provide a a, a great lifestyle for them what, what's and her name uh works. anna nicole smith right her her husband was like 136 years old are those oh, tricks yeah. though? no my thing are those tricks though or those simps because a lot of like I, I saw one just the other day and you know perception is half the is half the battle, but like I saw the super old white dude with a young, like flavorful black chick. Oh, he's tricking. Yeah, but I think they was uh, I, I I think they were like a like a, a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they were like a relationship, like is 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 he simping or is he tricking? You can't tell simping from the surface. A lot of times. No, I felt it just looked odd. Like homie wasn't supposed to get her. Now like, you sound like, not now you sound like a simp. No, but I'm saying like <laughs> he's he, just from from pre from visual standpoints. Like he's an older dude who like if I saw Shorty like in the club, I'd be like, yo, she's tough. I might want to go talk to her. But she's, I mean, it could be what she's attracted to too. So I guess whatever. But homie was like like 137 years old though. Yeah, but I bet you he had that that train smoke money. <laughs> you know, like. And again, we obviously making a lot of generalizations and, and making a lot of assumptions, but by and large, we can all agree it sounds like it ain't tricking if you got it. I think as long as you're confident in who you are and aware of what you're doing, do what you do. If you want to spend money on a shorty or a dude, spend your money. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I think lifestyle matters too. You know what I'm saying? Like some, you, you want to get to a bracket where your quality of living is just naturally better. You know what I mean? So the people who get around with you, you can start to experience and do things at like Ooh. a higher level. You know what I mean? So in that case, I don't believe it's tricky because everybody wants to live good. Everybody wants to live comfortable. If I'm, if I'm out there dating, now, I'm living a lifestyle where, you know, the shit I do is on some fly shit, period. And if that's, you come in my life, you're going to be a part of that fly shit. You know what I mean? That's a really good point. Make I'm sure not you, so, it's just how I'm living. So no, make sure you got problem. it though, because remember, it was times when I would go out back in there and I didn't have it and still out and was still out there tricking. Like I'm again, hoping. I think it's intent. It's it's intent, but if that's your lifestyle, you know, if you're trying to to level up in life and you notice that you know things are getting a little better and a little nicer around you, your 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 intent isn't. It it can be the same with the woman, but this is really how I'm living. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm gonna tell. I'm I'm gonna tell the story real quick. And I think it speaks to what you're saying, P. Um, there was a time in my life in like 2009, 2010, right? Where I was doing okay. And um, I would take these trips and me and the person I was with, we'd be like, but y'all wanna go to In-N-Out Burger. And um, he'd be like, all right, bet, let's do it. And I'd be like, yo, I'm gonna get me a girl from in and out burger and change her life. Like that, like that was my intention, right? Like that was like in 2009, 2010, I'm like, I'm gonna go to in and out burger. I'm gonna bag this cashier and I'm going to trick, right? Like that was what I wanted to do. I never did it, but that, like I went into it with that intention because I'm like, you know what? And not passing judgment on anybody who works in fast food, but at that time, like, I just felt at that time, whether it was accurate or not, that I could expose them to other things that maybe they hadn't been exposed to at that time. And that was my intention. Like it was, it was very intentional. Again, I never acted on it, but I used to go out there and I'd be like, yo, I'm telling you, bro, I'm about, to, I'm about to get somebody and change your life. Like, that's what I used to always say. And it was because of the way I was living at that time that I felt like I could just bring somebody into that and they would reap the benefits, just like you say, Prince, right? Like they would reap the benefits. And so in my mind, it was like, I need, I need uh, a companion when I'm out here. So that was kind of my mindset. And so it was like, everybody wins. Like I'm upgrading her life and I'm not bored while I'm out here. If that makes sense. Mm. So that, that, but I didn't look at that as my first thought wasn't like, Yo, you them dudes that you see in the club. Like that wasn't my first instinct. I knew what I was doing, but I, my first instinct wasn't like you. Them, you one of them guys in the club that just be tricking. It was like, no, I'm about to, to upgrade her. We are gonna have some fun, and that's it. But again, like I said, I never. It was more of a thought. I never once disclaimer. I never tried to bag anybody from In and Out Burger, but it was uh, my intention. It just never happened. So. 
Anyway, I feel like we've gone off on a bunch of tangents and definitely a bunch of tangents, but I think it's all rele- relevant, like interesting conversation though. Like, people, people, people go get to the end of the episode, like what are these niggas even talking about? But they go question whether they're a simp or a trick. <laughs> hey, you know, if 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 that's what you leave with, this is this episode was a was a success. You know, we gotta we gotta be able to self-identify. I think for my for my final thought, I'm gonna start and just say I don't think any of that is worth paying attention to if your intentions are pure. So you Spend, you you green light in simps and tricks. If your, <laughs> if your intentions are pure. Hey, but you know the crazy things about simps? They act from a space of pure intention every time. Mm. Every time. Then they can't be faulted for it. Hey, but that's a turn big that, statement. Turn up that cape. I see, you, bro. Turn that shit up a little. <laughs> that's bit. a big cape. I'm big cape. <laughs> it's a big cape too. <laughs> yeah, that's a big statement. You got you Super got on, on the spot. You got on that spawn cape today, man. I just I just feel <laughs> like sometimes people are worth investing in, even if that means it's the investment is your money. You sound like the trick ambassador right now, bro. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I've I've grown in ways where I know that <coughs> gift giving or you know acts of kindness or service can speak volumes as to how you feel about someone. Yeah, if 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 it's mutual, hundred <clears throat> percent. Like if it's mutual, but I I'm all about spoiling your lady, right? I'm all about that. So please hit me. But that doesn't have to be monetarily, though. No, it doesn't. But if that if if it if it falls into that category, that's fine too. <clears throat> right. You know what I'm saying? So like, you, do you need? But okay, so you spoil. Let's use your lady in particular. If you spoil your lady monetarily, do you need that reciprocity monetarily? I bought you a per, mm. I bought you a Birkin bag. I need mm. me a whole. You know what I mean? Mm. No. If I buy if I buy I I, I don't buy gifts to receive them. You know what I'm saying? what I'm saying? So the rest I of buy gifts. I buy gifts because I like when people buy me gifts. So I like the feeling that it makes that it gives me. So I like to give it to other people. Okay. So that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I also understand too that I'm a hard person to buy gifts for. So um that's why people struggle getting me stuff because I don't really talk about anything that I want. But um, but I like I like I like giving gifts. I like I, that's and that's why it's even worse for me because we really talk about well, I talk about what I want all the time, but I get it. So it's like, well, he says he wanted, but next I get it. I, I, I he got it already. You yeah. Know? So it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. If anybody want to buy us anything, I wear 11 and a half size, we, size large, um, 36 pants. We were 11 and a half and <laughs> extra large. Or t- t- 12 and Air Max. I actually wear uh, 11. So. Go ahead. 12 with Air Max. Right P, I'm out. You know what? I'm I, I would take this shit outside and show you right now. I promise you, on a stack of Bibles, I've had these box of sneakers in my trunk for eight months that I've been meaning to go to the post office and send you. I swear to God, they're in the trunk right now. Hey, well, whenever sneakers? you want to, feel free. The, uh, and the, that is not tricking, that is love. The, the bread, uh, 13s. I remember what long uh, Jordan the bread 13s. Are you for real? A long time ago, you said that they, that was like, like your favorite sneaker, I think, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, they've been in my trunk for- at The white and black ones? Black and red. Oh, oh you're lying red. right now. Are you serious? They've been in my trunk for at least eight months. Let me go ahead and cash they, that, they, that good old they, mailing. They dude. go real good with that hat right now, fam. Oh, but <laughs> they go good with the shorts. What? I got the oh, blue shorts on. You winning right, P. You winning right now. Like, they, 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 they've they been in my trunk, no lie. For at least eight months. Oh, I love you for that, bro. You're a savage. Yeah, but You're I should have said it a long time ago. Like, <laughs> hey, can it. I get my final thought next? Yes, you got it. There is no such thing as tricking. Do whatever you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Um, and just make sure. Nah, I don't really mean any of that. What I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I was gonna say, we talked all that shit to get, like, to give them what? to give them the green light to do whatever. <laughs> Overall, man, like on a, on like something to take away a value from us just giving our opinion on on tricking and simping, 
just try to make sure your, your lifestyle matches your actions. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't be operating out of your means and doing shit that just ain't really how you rock, for real. You know, try to make sure that if you're trying to impress somebody on a certain level, that when they're not around, your lifestyle, you know, correlates to what you show them. I mean, really, and, and do you. But be smart. Be smart. I, I, yeah, I, uh, I'll say this. If you're going to simp or trick, protect, protect your feelings. That's what I'll say. That's my final thought. I'm not saying I, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with tricking. Like I'll be clear on that. But it, if you do it, protect yourself. That's all. All right. So yo, I think I do again agree that we we went all over the place, but I think it's some good content people to dig into and, and have discussions about. And people be people be commenting on the post and like getting at us. Uh, this, Never mind. I'm I didn't see. I gotta go. I heard no, about them. I Shorty, heard about the comments. Shorty was getting at us, but whatever. What did Yo, she say? Keep, keep doesn't post. Keep giving us the feedback. Uh, email us on IG. She was getting at us. Man, was she? Email us. What? Email us at all black men need therapy at gmail. Follow us on all social media outlets. All black men need therapy. Yo, we had a good. I had a good time. I needed this, man. It was this was this was light and and, and funny and, and it was fun for me. So I, I kind of needed this. I appreciate y'all boys. Yo. You already know. That being like, said, no. do us all a favor. Hug a black man today. Do it. And tomorrow. Do it. We out, y'all. Peace. Peace.